Launching a website can be stressful. Luckily, I'm here to help. Hi, my name is Louis Ahoa, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to have a successful website launch. So what we like to do at Hobo is create a website launch checklist that helps us make sure that we've covered all the bases before launch. One of the first things we like to do is make sure we've tested, and I cannot stress this enough because when you're pushing out a new website, thorough testing can be the difference maker in launching a website. You can do things like in-house testing where you grab a bunch of people from your company and have them go through the site and look around see what bugs they find. Another thing you can do is a cross-browser compatibility test where you use a tool like BrowserStack in order to see how your website loads on the different browsers to make sure that all users are seeing the same thing. The third thing you can do is go through the site and test all your forms out to make sure that they are successfully submitting information to where they're supposed to go. The next thing we can add to the list is making sure that you launch your website at a good time. And what I mean by that is don't launch your website over the weekend unless everyone plans to be available during that time because if something happens to go wrong, you run the risk of unavailability when that happens. And if you're relaunching a website, what you want to do is launch at a certain time where you have the least amount of traffic. And the reason is because when you update your DNS, and what that means is telling servers across the world where your new website is going to live, users who go to your website during this time period are going to experience funky behaviors like being alternated between the old site and the new site. So what you want to do is reduce the pool of users who experience funky behaviors like this. You can use tools like Google Analytics in order to see when your users are less engaged in a website in order to make that decision. Next thing we need to add to the checklist is making sure that your users are redirected to the right place. And we can do that by creating a spreadsheet that maps old URLs to the new ones on the new site so that you have an idea of how your users are reaching the new pages from old URLs. What you want to do if you're not using Google Tag Manager is migrate your Google Analytics code over to the new site so that you can keep your basic tracking working. And if you're not using Google Tag Manager, you should consider it because this is a good tool to help you keep all your tags in one place. And lastly, make sure you know how your goals will be tracked over on the new site. So you went through all the things in the checklist and you've launched your website, but you're not done yet because there's a few things that you should look into before you can make sure that you've had a successful launch. And the first thing is checking for 404 errors. Now you can use a tool like Moz, Google Analytics, or Google Search Console in order to pull a list of 404 errors that your users are getting. And you can fix them by redirecting your users to the appropriate pages. Next thing you want to do is use Google Search Console in order to search for crawl errors on the site. Now what I mean by that is search engines like Google, Bing, Yahoo, and etc. use bots in order to navigate through your site and grab information about what pages are there in order so they can index them on their search results. So we've had an incident in the past where one of our websites disallowed bots from navigating through the site and it would have wreaked havoc on our traffic had we not caught it right away. So it's a good idea to make sure you search for crawl errors. The last thing you want to do is create a sitemap. Now what that is, is a file that contains a list of URLs that are most important to you. Now this is useful because instead of letting search engines crawl and index your site over time, you can hand them the list of URLs important to you on a silver platter so that they can index your site faster. So you can upload your sitemap to tools like Google Search Console so that Google bots can immediately start going through that file and crawling and indexing those URLs to Google search results. So I hope this checklist helped you have a successful website launch. Feel free to check out our other videos over here and subscribe to our channel. bag is sweaty. My palms are sweaty. Lewis at oh, oh my Lewis <laughs> forgot my name. <laughs>